There we go. Uh, 2326 Elyria Street, Lorraine. Damn horse trailer. It's over a half acre, which is quite a bit of space in, in a densely populated area like this, okay? So almost 4,000 uh, square feet inside and then over a half acre outside, right? Uh, that's a lot. I'm just crushing the quake, dude. <laughs> Sitting in here, shitting their pants, drinking a quake. Uh, I myself uh, used to have some self-storage, uh, and we did quite well for them uh, for the period of time that we had self-storage going on. So it was definitely a cool uh, little money-making experience, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, they can sell it at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. You are looking to get into the storage, commercial, warehouse investment space, y'all. Pay attention. We got a screamer. This one's going to move quick, all right? So you're going to have to be fast with your offers on this one. 2310 Elyria Avenue, Lorraine, okay? This is a uh, warehouse coming to you guys at 64.9, right? 3,815 square feet out of this bad boy, okay? Now, this thing can be utilized in many ways, right? You can utilize it as like storage for your own type of business. You could rent it to people uh, who need a ton of storage. These types of buildings are great for, you know, renting to contractor tenants, landscaping tenants, you know, trucking company, all kinds of stuff, right? There's like a total of five parcels uh, around this warehouse too, right? So you get the big 3,800 square foot warehouse and then you get all the grass in the land, right? You can even do like outdoor storage, right? So think like, you know, uh, big, huge things of like, you know, like truckloads and truckloads of like mulch and, and rock salt, things of that nature, right? All right, so you get all that, and then there's even like another spot like across the little alleyway, right? So all told, uh, it's over a half acre, which is quite a bit of space in, in a densely populated area like this, okay? So almost 4,000 uh, square feet inside and then over a half acre outside, right? You'd have no issue renting this to somebody if you wanted to like just rent the whole friggin kit and caboodle to somebody you can get 2500 bucks a month you want to do some type of self-storage and like divide stuff up put up some fencing i mean you could even turn it into like your own active business uh, i myself uh used to have some self-storage uh and we did quite well for them uh for the period of time that we had self-storage going on so it was definitely a cool a uh, little money-making experience, right? Like, the cool thing with t uh, tenants at, like, self-storage versus, like, tenants that, like, live in your units, uh, when self-storage tenants don't pay, uh, you know, you don't have to go through, like, a lengthy eviction process. They also don't use water, uh, things of that nature, right? So it's, like, it's it's quite nice. It's quite good. So there's a lot of opportunity here, just this big old smack-dab gigantic warehouse coming to you guys at a fire sale price, 64900 The particular owner needs to liquidate assets and liquidate assets quickly. He needs a bunch of money, and y'all, we're going to deliver it to him because there's a whole bunch of bang for your buck on this one. Now, if pro Prior uh, to uh, putting in your offer, you want to tour the warehouse. That is totally cool. Just let us know. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Hit us up before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there. Same business day. Hit us up after 5 o'clock. That's beer 30. So you got to wait till the very next day. Uh, we're going to want cash offers on this. If you have some type of commercial financing, that's fine too. Just make sure you're, when you're ready to let me know how much you want to pay, right? Just send me an email to submit an offer. Be like, yo, dude, 2310 Elyria, I want to pay cash, 64.9. Here's my proof of funds. Or 2310 Elyria, I want to finance it. Here's my pre-approval letter, right? And if you guys need commercial lenders, private lenders, uh, hard money lenders, gap lenders, DSCR lenders, those types of lenders, you guys need any type of investor financing, you can also just let us know and we'll get you uh, all of our investor financing contacts, right? I've done over $200 million worth of investment property sales in the state of Ohio over the last decade. So, like, I have a massive Rolodex of people working with investors, local, out of state, even out of the country, foreign nationals. Uh, so if you guys need financing for acquisitions like this in this area, or anywhere else, right? We're, you know, we're also doing business in Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Toledo, Youngstown. So uh, wherever you guys need money and you're trying to buy investment properties and you need financing partners, just let us know. We'll hook you up with it. Sales at HoltonWise.com for everything. Let's go.
Here we go. Uh, 2326 Illyria Street, Lorraine. Horse trailer. This lot here, I think, is part of it, the owner said. place does seem like it's straight out of a video game though. Dude, for real. It's a place there. <laughs> Ever seen a digital gas meter? Whoa, no actually. That's pretty wild. Oh, oh my god. I don't think this thing could be closer to this house. <laughs> Bro, really, how do you even like... How do you build that over there? <laughs> Makes you wonder which one was here first. <laughs> Some of the building is gone. Oh my gosh, there's no like front of this thing. What do you think was here first? These houses or this building? I gotta be the building. Yeah. Why would you build so close to these houses? I think the houses just squeeze in. Yeah, it's almost like you would have had to apply for variances. Right. I mean, this whole area, I mean, look how much open line there is. Look at fucking back truck, dude. Oh. Golf cart, baby. Dude. Sure. Try to get that part of the deal. Yep. Just guys looking around time on that. Ugh. This thing I'm off. There's like enough ambient light you can see. Plus the holes in the walls help. It does help, yeah. Glass block windows. Yep. I mean, if you need a big fucking open space. John always fun. talked about buying shit like that, so like an old abandoned rack center with a pool. <laughs> I feel like they're out there, dude. That's when you gotta get that. This, dude, if we bought this, honestly, this would be a fucking perfect warehouse storage site because it's halfway between Lorraine and Valeria. Yeah. And I remember they were talking about that a while ago. This guy's probably gonna want a mint for this, unfortunately. You yeah, know? It's, a, it's a lot of work that would be needed, too. Yep. But, it does check a lot of boxes. This is cool. I wish the rest of this door was still there, that sliding door. Because it's on yeah, rails. You can, you can see they send a block that shit in. Yeah. It's 
probably another garage door. Which is what makes me think that house was at first. Uh, that's a lot nicer. So I'm gonna just crush in the quake, dude. <laughs> Sitting in here, shitting their pants, drinking a quake. The office area. All right, so the, this is gonna be. Is that? This is where the light. Oh, okay. I thought he was using that for a fucking door shut somewhere. Nope. Is that a gas pipe? Uh, yeah, or water. Oh, Most okay. likely gas. Uh, yeah. Badge too. I mean, you'll see a lot of that stuff when the, when you do the outside. It looks like it looks like a lot of the tar. Yeah, the drone should get good uh, roof. Wait till you see this bathroom, though, guys. The second thing. Can you turn this into like a condo if you can get a some shit from the city. It's already got a full bath in it. Oh yeah, dude. Look at the fucking roof back here. It's all black. Yeah, it's all tar. Shift that, nice. Yeah, those are important. Nice vanity. It's like brand new, dude. There's like a a shirt back there in between the block. Yeah, don't go out that way. There's not a step. They put, like, they put like a bucket. It's like a makeshift. Yeah. I almost just walked out. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if this other key works on this door. Uh, it might be worth a shot trying. It's pretty nice in here for. Well, I guess it's 50 something degrees outside, so. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Yeah. Here. Is this just a door that goes nowhere? Which one? Yeah, it, it slides to close this off, but it's fucked. <laughs> And then I'm assuming before that house next door was built, this was the other bay door. Because it's cinder block. <laughs> A brick wall! Got stringers in a bucket. Like newer ducting. It's kind of nice. Definitely newer ductwork. You know, the absence of that window, though. Yeah, that's, if this was a video game, that would definitely be the escape. Right, or there'd be some kind of loot back there. Something. Or enemies would come in there or some shit. I mean, the furnace looks newer. The furnace right here, too. Yeah, I gotta show that, that it's not even on the wall. It's just fucking <laughs> just hanging. Just hanging there. Don't touch it, this is fucking live. <laughs> it's on, too. Yeah, I wonder why they did all the new ductwork. Well, I guess the furnace is technically off and the gas is off to it. You know what, though? This would be a really great place to open up one of those uh, either escape rooms or like a demolish rave room thing. Yeah, because it was trying to beat the shit. Yep, minimal cleanup. Right. And I'm sure it's zoned for business. Oh. oh no! Is that the pump? That's the standing. There's just standing shit water in there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.